Hi guys, my name is Toby. Uh, welcome to my channel, Dad Houseplant Guy. Uh, today I want to talk about some plants that I have in my house that I, I would say I do slightly regret buying. So it can simply happen that you see uh, a plant, maybe even before you already check up on it, you, you plan to buy it for a long time, then you find it, you bring it home with you, and then you realize actually you're not that happy with the plant that you, as you expected. Uh, in the beginning. Maybe there's different reasons why that happens. Maybe the plant is not doing as well in your home as you hoped it would. Maybe you simply um, get a plant that you don't feel that confident in keeping. Maybe it's very stressful to keep it because it needs a lot of care. So there's different uh, reasons why you maybe get fed up of some of the plants that you get into your house. So I want to show you three plants today where this is sort of happening also for me right now. So uh, plants that I'm Yes, I would say I do regret buying uh, out of different reasons. So I would simply say, let's look at the different plants, those three that I brought today. And I will tell you the reasons for each and every one why I do slightly regret buying those three plants. So let's start with the first one right away, which might come as a bit of a shock. <laughs> I hope not too much of a shock, uh, which is my Pilea peperomoides. Uh, actually, I really enjoyed when I found this one. I think there was a huge hype about this plant a couple of years ago. Like everybody wanted to have it. Uh, the prices were crazy, I think, back at that time. Uh, the trend definitely passed by now, I would say. So the prices are down to normal plant prices. Um, and you can find them um, basically in every box store even um, at the moment. So I got one of those, as I said, quite inexpensive. I really was looking forward to it because simply it is a very distinctive looking plant that I really enjoy normally if a plant is really something that draws your attention to it. Um, however, this one I did expect more from it, I would say. So when I bought it, it basically was looking the exact same way as now. Maybe some of the new growth was not there, but there were some older leaves that have died off since. But apart from that, not really much has happened with this. So this one is not doing bad, I would say. So it lost some of the leaves now in autumn. Not too many, actually. So I guess the, the ones that came in newly here now are actually more than the ones that are lost. But uh, somehow this plant doesn't really do anything for me, I must say. So I really expected like the growth would be faster somehow, but also more distinctive. Uh, I know they tend to grow them quite tall, so they really start to, to get like basically a major stem where then the, the different leaves shoot off from, uh, which gives it this distinctive look, but that hasn't happened for me yet. Uh, I see it's slightly beginning to have a stem. Let's see if this one uh, will grow in the future. I also put it in a different sp uh, space now in my flat, so I have this now in my bedroom on a shelf. Uh, it seems to do also better there. So I'm not giving up on it, but I also must say, um, looking back, if I would have known, like when I found this plant, that it wouldn't do that much for me when I get it into my home, I probably would not have bought this one. Um, as I said, it was quite inexpensive, so I'm not regretting it too much. I'm also not regretting it to the point where I would get rid of it, because it is still a healthy plant, so getting rid definitely not, not even like giving it away or trading it for another plant. Um, at the moment still not so I'm, I'm will keep hanging on to this guy seeing if it if it still like grows on me <laughs> let's hope so but at the moment i do keep it alive but i'm not really caring too much about it uh also don't really spend too much time like tending to it but let's see maybe maybe my heart will open to this one too let's see so uh, another one that i definitely agree uh that i definitely regret buying is my croton. Uh, croton, as you maybe know, comes in many different forms. So I got one that has this slight red hue to the leaves. Uh, it comes in the new leaf, come in sort of yellowish, that then turns with the later leaves into red. And as you can see, this croton is not doing too well at the moment. Uh, actually, the, 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 the week I basically brought it home, it started to deteriorate. It really started, the leaf started to hang and droop. Weirdly enough, not a, I think I only lost one of those leaves until now, so they all hang on still, but they, of course they, they don't look like they're supposed to look. So when I got this plant, they were really, they were perking up like this, they were healthy, they were doing well, but I don't know why, maybe I, it's too dry, but I'm, I actually have it in a quite humid place, I would say. So 
I really do regret buying this one, especially as basically this was one of those small plugs that you can get. So basically we had these tiny, tiny plants. Um, this growth actually, I think they are grown in a way that they take part of the stem where you have some growth off it, on it. They cut it and basically propagate it so it gets roots. Um, so you always have basically the cut of stem in there and then new shoots uh, coming out of those stems. Um, looking back, probably I wouldn't buy it this form any longer because you do find really beautifully grown natural grotons that are bigger than this guy definitely for not that much more expensive I would say. So this one I do definitely regret buying. As you can see I think it feels that I regret buying it because it really does not do anything at the moment so there's no, no growth, definitely not. The old one is not dying at least but in the end this plant doesn't really do much at the moment. So I regret buying this one definitely and I probably if I would be able to go back I wouldn't buy this one but actually uh, simply a, a, a bigger grown croton plant that probably would also be easier to keep and to, to, to bring to grow into my home then also. So definitely something that I regret. And another plant I think I showed in a video before, yes I did, in about the, basically the deeper plants that I have in my house is my uh, begonia maculata. So the begonia with the little dots on it. If you compare how this one looked when I got it and as how it looks now, the, it's staggering basically. Um, it really deteriorated a lot, especially in the last couple of weeks. It basically dropped almost all of the leaves. Uh, some of the stems I feel have died back completely. As you can see, they're actually black at the moment. So those ones are definitely dead. Uh, the, the ones that are green, they actually have new growth coming in now, but in the end I do regret buying this plant because I feel it's just too much stress, to be honest. Like I spend too much time worrying about this plant and uh, I'm getting plants because I, uh, well, they, they, they should make you feel happy and not stressed, I would say, when you get into house plants. And this little guy definitely rather makes me stressed and happy. So I, I am thinking if I should give this away, but actually in the state as it is, probably I won't be able to give this away. So probably the only, re the only possibility would be to throw it away. As it gets new growth right now, probably I will keep it. But what I decided for myself is basically to not obsess over it too much, not stress over it. If it dies, it dies. Uh, it won't break my heart. It probably will actually take a lot of stress off of me. So if this one dies, I am fine with it. If it thrives, the better. But if it doesn't, I won't be mad. <laughs> so that definitely is also a plant, probably the plant I regret buying the most at the moment. Because I really I enjoy the foliage. As you can see, it has gorgeous foliage with this very distinctive dots on the top of the leaf and this red on the bottom of the leaf. But in the end, if it's too much stress, all the foliage in the world doesn't pay off if, it's, if the plant stresses you out. So definitely, I regret buying this. So those would be the three plants that I regret buying. <laughs> definitely, I do regret buying. Um, also, of course, as you can see, different reasons why I regret buying the one or the other. What I would be interested in is, do you have plants in your home that you do regret buying and what are the reasons why you regret buying them? So I would really be interested in, in knowing your reasons and if you have plants like this. So if you do, please leave a comment below. I will, I will love, I would love to read them and see like if I'm the only one who regrets buying a plant or if, if it happens to everybody sooner or later, if you get into house plants. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like and if you enjoyed this channel, of course, feel free to subscribe. Um, I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye!